This material could help make carbon negative products, but there is a catch. Now, the material that I'm talking about grows readily everywhere, mostly in Asia, but we also have it here in Scandinavia. When making a product, the materials that you use often emit a lot of emissions, and that can be an issue. Like steel, it goes through a lot of different treatment processes to actually be made into steel. But this material is completely different. It, it's a natural material that grows in the forests. I'm talking about bamboo. So actually making bamboo products actually has the, pro has the probability to make carbon negative products. But why is that? It's because bamboo absorbs a lot of CO2 when it grows. And it grows pretty fast. But there is a catch. The catch is that when you use bamboo as a material, you need to make sure that the data, that means the logistics involved, the processing of the product, if you paint it, how much you actually emit, in all these different product steps will need to be documented. And here you can use life cycle assessment. So life cycle assessment is all about documenting each of the steps. So remember, if you're using bamboo as a material, make sure you have the data.